In this video, we're gonna do a rent versus buy session on Seminole, Oklahoma. So if you're in the market to buy a home in Seminole, Oklahoma, and you're wondering, man, maybe I should just rent, this video might add a little more information to that decision. Let's get into it. Pro number five of renting is you don't have maintenance. As a renter, you're not really responsible for big maintenance items that come up. Like if the heat and air goes out, you should most typically don't have to take care of that you know read whatever your lease says but in a lot of cases you don't have to deal with that large expense hot water tank goes out you don't have to worry about replacing it you know that could be 800 to 1200 dollars depending on if you do the work or not so first off not having maintenance costs that's a huge positive when it comes to renting right right well the flip side of that guys is you don't <laughs> you're you're not in charge of the maintenance so if something does go wrong and you want it fixed, you're at the whim of the landlord getting it fixed. And if you check out the Oklahoma Tenant Landlord Act, I'm not an attorney, so go verify this on your own. If you check out the Oklahoma Tenant Landlord Act, guys, the landlord only has to give you heat and water and a, uh, what is it called? Safe environment to live or something. They don't, they don't have to give you air conditioning if you don't want, if they don't want to. It's not in the Tenant Landlord Act. Now, could, could a good attorney get you out of that lease probably if you don't have air conditioning? I don't know, I'm not an attorney. But not being in charge of the maintenance could be a huge pain in the rear, huge pain in the rear. So something that you would consider needing fixed, like maybe the faucet leaks a little bit when you turn it on, landlord probably may not care. They may not care at all. They might be like, okay, uh, I'm not fixing that. It works fine, water comes out of the faucet. So. The flip side of no maintenance as a tenant is you don't have any maintenance as a tenant. A positive about being a tenant and renting is once the lease is up, you can leave. You can leave, you're not locked into a house. So when that lease comes up, whether it's a 12 month lease or two year lease or whatever, you're not stuck with the house anymore. You don't have to go through the process of selling the house. You don't have to go through the process of dealing with neighbors if you don't want it because when your lease is up, if you don't like your neighbors, you can just move. You can just move. The flip side of that pro, guys, is con number four. And when your lease is up, you could be asked to move. You may not be prepared to move yet, but if the tenant, if the landlord doesn't want to renew your lease, guys, doesn't matter. They don't renew your lease. They give you 30 days notice and you have to move. So yes, having a rental and being having the freedom to leave when your lease is up, is a positive but depending on your life situation guys you may not want to leave that may not be on your agenda once that lease is up and if the landlord doesn't renew it and they give you a 30-day notice to leave guys you gotta go you gotta go and that may not be where you want to be at that time in your life pro number three about being a tenant is you don't have to pay interest you don't have to pay interest on a mortgage really Really, I've actually heard people say that. It's cheaper to rent right now. Guys, how much equity do you get to keep in that rental? A rental is 100% interest, 100% interest. You get no benefit from that rental payment. That is all the landlord's rental payment, all of it. Not just a little portion, but all of it. So if you're saying, man, it's cheaper to rent, rates are so high right now, I'm just gonna rent. You look at rental costs right now, guys, they're not that good. The, the landlords have kept the price driving up for rentals. You can buy a house cheaper than you can rent a house, most typically when it comes to payment and that interest on a rental, guys, that's 100% interest. You don't get any of that back when you sell the house because it's a rental, it's not yours. So don't kid yourself saying the rates are so expensive right now, it's cheaper to rent, I don't wanna pay interest. All right, another positive about renting uh, over buying is you do have the same monthly payment. You, you absolutely do. But the, the flip side of that guys is when that lease is up, they're probably going to raise your, your monthly payment. They probably are. And just like taxes and insurance go up every year, well, lease payments pretty much go up every year too. So you, but if you got like a two year lease or something like that, your rent payment won't go up for two years, but don't, don't, you know, hang that hat on my payments are fixed. As soon as that lease is up, guys, your payments aren't probably fixed. They're probably going up because not only 
our rents everywhere going up, but the landlord, his taxes are going up. His insurance is going up. So the way that he's going to recapture that cost is he's going to raise your rent. I mean, it's just plain and simple, guys. Rent goes up. Don't hang your hat on. My monthly payments are the same every month. As soon as that lease is up, guys, they're probably going to change. The number one positive, the number one positive about renting over buying, especially when you're moving to a new city like Seminole, Oklahoma, is it does allow you to get to know the area better. There is no doubt about that. And, and in that case, if you just want to get to know the area better, guys, I would highly, highly recommend that you put all of your belongings in storage, live minimally, and just rent an apartment. Rent a big apartment if you've got a big family or rent an apartment so that you can get to know the area more. That's absolutely a great reason to rent first and do a short term, like six month, six month rent or something like that. Don't do a long term rent. And the reason why is guys, once you get familiar with the area, once you learn the area more, then yes, buy a house, buy a house guys. Over the last three years, the median home price in Seminole, Oklahoma was $90,000 very very affordable in Seminole Oklahoma that's the median sales price Seminole Oklahoma $90,000 the median home price in Seminole Oklahoma now guys is $115,000 $115,000 in the last three years you've gained $25,000 in equity it goes back to the other points that I made about renting that's the landlord's money you don't get any you, when you when you rent a home do you get to sell it and get profit out of it no but when you buy it, if you bought a home three years ago in Seminole, Oklahoma, you would have bought it for a median price of $90,000. When you sell it today, the median price is $115,000. That's 25 extra thousand dollars, guys. That's amazing. That's amazing. So positive about renting. The number one positive about renting is getting to know an area. But when it comes time to move, you can sell a house and keep the equity, especially if you're there a long time your equity is gonna build even more generally, historically. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video about whether or not to rent when moving to Seminole, Oklahoma. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel, hit the notification bell, and of course, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, with all your real estate needs. I've got your back when you're moving to Seminole, Oklahoma.